Okay, okay, okay. As one quick check, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker. Checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. What a day, what a day of football. Recording this, August, two th August 27, August 27, 2023. The day in which my alma mater, again, can't even count how many times, but we're playing on ESPN again. <clears throat> and yesterday, the Saturday, we're playing, the, today's a Sunday, so the Saturday, I got myself back in shape. Got myself back in shape. I don't mean physical shape, I mean mental shape. All right? Started the day off, obviously, with my run, as you guys saw yesterday, if you watched the video yesterday. But immediately after the run, I go to a youth football game to see my young and one of my little youngins play, who I teach at the, the, at the Creative Center of Education. And then immediately after, hit up a sports bar. Hit up a sports bar, Twin Peaks. Shout out to Twin Peaks. <laughs> hit up Twin Peaks, and they had me all set up, all right? Game start, high school game started at one, and I watched school get high school game, and then through between the two high school games, there was some college being played. So there was some college games, there was Notre Dame Navy being played, and then there was a preseason NFL game that was going on, and then the second high school game started. So I was in, I was in heaven. I was in, as close to heaven as I could be in, right? You know, I had the high school on one screen. You had a small midland. There were actually two college games going on. There was the FCS program going on, and then there was the, the major college, Navy versus Notre Dame, and, you know, Notre Dame tapped that ass. And then you had the other high school game going on, then you had... NFL, you had Aaron Rodgers actually making his first start. It was the Giants versus the Jets, so a big New York battle. So that took me back to college. So it was just a beautiful day, beautiful scenery. Loved every second of it. If I could spend every day of my life like that, I would. I love that shit, man. I love that shit. You know, the life you imagine, all right? So today's Move Swiftly Thought has me thinking back to when I lived in Maryland. It was my last couple of weeks in Maryland. And I was waiting for the football season to actually end before I made the move to Florida. And the last game the last high school no 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 yeah it was around the it was during the regular season so it wasn't the last high school game i attended but it was the last of the last season basically right it was during the regular season and this was a major game this was the, the biggest game of the year actually it was st john's taking on dematha at pg sports and learning complex now they're both one versus two all right they that was easily you already saw that that was going to be the the championship they were the two best teams in the entire area they just balled right they and they're in the same conference like it is every single year wcac schools there's a reason why you see us on espn every single year that's why you see a wcac school on espn every single year there's a reason for that all right i'm getting ready to tell you why <laughs> so you had this monumental game huge game i mean Everyone's out there. The entire Maryland staff is out there. It's a huge, huge game. And I'd say maybe during warm-ups, during the warm-ups of the game, and this was DeMatha's home. This was actually technically a home game for DeMatha. And <laughs> throughout the entire warm-ups, you see little kids, little youth football programs running around. It was a Friday night, so you saw a bunch of little youth football programs from all in that area, the Marlboro, the uh, PG area, a bunch of little kids from the area just running around the field, running around the field, enjoying themselves, playing around with the balls. They got the youth football jerseys on. Everyone is just, you know, loving it, right? <laughs> loving it. And I I'm telling you, I'm telling you what happened, all right? It was maybe, maybe, if so long, maybe five minutes before kickoff. I'm not exaggerating, all right? Five minutes before kickoff, the head coach at the time for the math is a guy named Elijah Brooks, who is currently the running backs coach at Virginia Tech, right? He brings all these youth kids, all these little kids, all the, the entire, every, it felt like every single one of the youth football programs, all the little players, he brings them all to the middle of the field and he gives them a speech before the biggest game of the season. Like he gave them a speech before the biggest game of the season. And that just goes to show you the reason that they've been able, not only DeMatha, but whether it's Good Council, whether it's Gonzaga, whether it's St. John's, the reason we've been able to build such a strong reputation in the nation, in the country, right? is because the focus, the focus has always been about 
who's next. The focus has always been about creating a pipeline from those youth programs all the way and bringing them and seeing them through and getting them to, to the, or the right situation, the right program. That's what it's been about from jump, all right? So win, lose, or draw, doesn't matter. We're winning because the foundation, the foundation is always gonna be there. See, that's the thing with IMG. IMG or any one of these boarding schools. You don't have the support of the community. You don't have the support of a local youth program because you, you've created such a commodity with high school football. So you're missing, they're missing that foundational piece. And if, I mean, listen, the example of Montrose Christian is a perfect example. If you don't build those foundational pieces in your local community, you are you leave yourself very susceptible to folding one day all right doesn't matter how often or what sponsor who's sponsoring you or who's providing your uniforms you leave yourself very susceptible to folding if you don't have those fun that foundational pieces and you don't build within the community all right <clears throat> i do i will again i mean a lot of these topics especially since it's that time of season that, that time of year where football is going on and, and it's a business i know very very well I will have more on this one. I will have more to say on this. But for now, just understand that lesson and understand the, the importance of building a pipeline with your local community because that's how you're going to build something that lasts, all right? Main website to check out to dive deeper into my work, makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker. Checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.